In this video, we'll make use of hands-on code demos in NumPy, TensorFlow, and PyTorch to illustrate basic tensor arithmetic, including the Hadamard product. Alrighty, of the basic tensor arithmetic operations, some of the most basic are simply adding or multiplying our tensor by a scalar value. It simply applies that scalar to all of the elements in the tensor, and the shape of the tensor is retained. As an example, let's take our NumPy matrix tensor X, which has this shape and these values. We can multiply that entire tensor by two, and all of the elements are multiplied by two. We can add the number two, and then that would add two to all of the elements in the tensor. Or we can even apply multiple, and then just the standard order of operations applies. So if we do multiplication and addition on a tensor with scalar values, then we'll do the multiplication first and then the addition. So for example, 25 times two plus two is 52. And you can confirm that the math works out for each one of the individual elements. The shape of the tensor is exactly the same, three rows, two columns that went in. In PyTorch, we can perform these scalar multiplications and additions in exactly the same way as we do in NumPy. So we simply apply them at the end in exactly the same way. So the Python operators are overloaded so when you use multiplication or addition with these simple asterisk and plus sign symbols, the standard symbols that we're used to for doing arithmetic in Python, when we do those on a PyTorch tensor, the Python operators are overloaded. So we are actually performing the torch.mul method or torch.add method for multiplication and addition respectively but it just happens all behind the scenes and you don't even have to worry about it. So here we're actually formally using the methods. We get the exact same results and we're using the same uh, exact methods in the back end. Same kind of idea for TensorFlow. You can, you can use the standard times two plus two because likewise the Python operators are overloaded when you use a TensorFlow matrix. So this is equivalent to uh, tf.multiply and tf.add. So we'll get the same results using the exact same methods, either way that you do um, these scalar operations. Cool, so that covers multiplying and addition and so on by scalar. Of course, the same kinds of things hold true for subtraction and division and so on. Now, a little bit more interesting than those scalar operations is something called the Hadamard product or the element wise product. And so if two tensors have the same size, we can often apply operations element wise. And that is how we would do it by default, typically in these libraries. So this is not matrix multiplication. You need to be careful about that. We will cover matrix multiplication uh, shortly, but instead this is just the element-wise product or the Hadamard product. And so the mathematical notation is this uh, dot with um, a circle around it to signify this Hadamard product. Um, in this case, we're applying it on two matrices, matrix X and matrix A. So here's what matrix X looks like again. And so we can create matrix A by adding two to every element of A. We did this just above here. Now that we have our matrix A, we can add it to our matrix X because they have the same size. And when we do that, everything, all the addition will happen on an element-wise basis. So 25 plus 27 is equal to 52, two plus four is equal to six, and so on all the way through this three by two matrix. And when we use the asterisk, 
the uh, typical multiplication operator, we are performing this Hadamard product. So we're doing this operation right here on A and X. And so it's element wise. So we have 25 times 27 is equal to 675. And two times four is equal to eight. That's an easier one to do in your head to confirm. Uh, and so on, all the way through all of the elements. So that's NumPy. And with PyTorch and TensorFlow, it's all the same. So, you know, we can create our uh, A matrix in PyTorch in the same way as we did in NumPy, and then perform the same kind of element wise addition and Hadamard product operations on it. Same thing in TensorFlow. All right, so those are some of the most basic arithmetic operations. Up next, we've got reduction, another common tensor operation.